man Alfred, we can add a third victim to the list. This is becoming rather ghastly, sir. It brings to mind a spate of murders at the beginning of your career. It was Halloween then, if I'm not mistaken. Turned out to be rather a long one, if I recall. I'm going to try and identify the body. I've seen that pattern of scar tissue before. It's a bite mark. Analyzing its radius points to a species of Salacomorpha. This particular variety of shark is only found in the waters off the coast of North Gotham. The victim is fitted with an ocular prosthesis. This specific type of medical grade acrylic was used only once during a trial five years ago. Signs of trauma to the upper arm. At some point, titanium screws have been implanted to repair a fractured humerus. Alfred, the victim's name is Lisa Mendez. Uh, she had quite a troubled upbringing, sir. Orphaned age nine, foster homes, drug abuse. She developed a talent for surfing, hence the shark attack. Tragically, it's also how she lost her boyfriend. She was working for a Christian charity in Tucson, Arizona, when she went missing. That's three victims. All of them abducted in various places around the country. Keep looking for a connection, Alfred. Right you are, sir. The writing by the bodies suggests the killer has a higher purpose. It's as if these weren't good enough for what he has in mind. Do you think there are other victims? Yes, and I don't know what he has planned for them. Sir, there have been reports of opera music being played on the boundary of Chinatown. There was similar music being aired at the previous crime scene. It would appear this is some kind of calling card.
Alfred, I found a fourth victim. Highly regrettable, Master Bruce. All we can do is hope this body yields some clues as to the killer's identity. An irregularity on the victim's chest. It appears to be a birthmark, quite distinctive. There's a bullet lodged deep in the upper bicep. This type of ammunition is predominantly used with a hunting rifle that hasn't been manufactured in over a decade. The left foot is missing several toes. The site of amputation suggests the removal of non-viable tissue in the treatment of frostbite. Alfred, I've ID'd the victim as Robert Kincaid. He was a microbiologist who worked for Stag Enterprises. Many believe the shooting was connected to Kincaid's knowledge of controversial research, although that remains unverified. He took a teaching post in Atlanta, which is where he was reported missing. Have you found anything linking the victims? I can find no personal or professional links between the victims, but they each went missing near state parks or playing fields. Try and find anything connecting those places. Of course, sir. I'll look into it. Sir, there have been reports of opera music being played on the boundary of Chinatown. There was similar music being aired at the previous crime scene. It would appear this is some kind of calling card. Sir, there have been reports of opera music being played on the boundary of Chinatown. There was similar music being aired at the previous crime scene. It would appear this is some kind of calling card.
Gotta get me out of here. This city's finally gone to hell. I'm sick of it. All of it. I need you to stay calm. This won't help anyone. I'm sorry. It's just all that's happened. It, it hasn't been easy. It feels like we're cursed or something. I know about the sudden upsurge in fires. Was a cause ever established? Nothing concrete. We were chasing our tails on that one. Hey, the way our luck's been, I wouldn't be surprised if it was the devil himself. Wait here. An officer's on his way to pick you up. <laughs> 